What's going on you guys? My name is Wolf and welcome to today's video. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you guys five things I learned after my first year of college. Number one, clubs are not the only way to make friends. And I know that when you start in college, you hear that go join clubs, best way to make friends, best way to make friends, but that's not the only way. I made in a lot of friends by walking doggo on campus, by just in class because like in my math class I made a pretty good friend over our mutual struggle over math so that was a very good way that I made friends in that class but it's not impossible to make friends outside of clubs I was not a club person sometimes I would go play video games with people in like this kind of like in one of the classrooms kind of like in one of the rooms in one of the buildings in one of the academic buildings so i made friends there number two a bad quiz grade is not the end of the world i had made my first bad quiz grade and i really struggled with it i thought it was going to be the end of the world but it's not the end of the world one bad quiz grade not the end of the world and that is because sometimes professors will drop the lowest quiz grade but all you have to do is study harder do better and you'll be fine if you study harder do better and really practice you'll do great and you'll know what you're doing next time just don't give up because it's not the end of the world you'll do better you'll learn more you'll get better at what you're doing number three do the homework even if it's not for a grade sometimes the homework they give you is just to prepare you for the exam so they don't take it for a grade but just because it's not for a grade does not mean it's not important sometimes they will give you these homework these homeworks that aren't for a grade to prepare you for the exams so they'll go over it during class and just doing this extra work will help you understand what you're doing more than if you didn't have homework or if you didn't have really anything to study. So definitely do the homework because professors will go over it with you either, either in class or during office hours. So do the homework even if it's not for a grade. Don't push it aside because you might need it. I've had a lot of professors do that. Just give us this stuff to study and do on our own even though it's not for a grade. That just means that it's important for you to do and it's going to help you in the long run. So don't just brush it off. It's very important to do it. I've always done it because you never know if it's going to be all over the exam. If every question on this non-graded worksheet is going to be on the exam so it's better to do it and know what you did wrong and practice it than not do it and all of it be on the exam and you wish you did it number four this is kind of a funny one flip flops and hills just don't mix my campus my first campus was on a hill and my second campus has some pretty good hills so hills and flip flops don't mix so I'm not saying don't wear flip-flops to campus because you are you can do whatever you want. If you're comfortable, then wear flip-flops. But for me, flip-flops and heels just don't mix. I prefer to wear tennis shoes everywhere on campus because they're much more comfortable compared to my other shoes. Even, even my other tennis, tennis-like shoes, my specific tennis shoes are just more comfortable for me and just better for heels compared to flip-flops because I've pretty sure I lost my shoe once walking up a hill and I've fallen once wearing flip-flops even if I wasn't going to, going to class that's the only reason I wore flip-flops but it definitely told me don't ever wear flip-flops to campus so I never wore flip-flops to campus ever again number five stay on top of things I had a lot of work my first year but because I have a cork board and a whiteboard I really see it on top of my schoolwork I think one of the best things in college is a cork board, a whiteboard, and your phone, and a planner. A planner because you can write things down and cork board because you put it up in your room and it's going to be right there and you can pin stuff to it like your schedules. A whiteboard because you can write stuff down, your work schedule, your school schedule, all of that. And then your phone so you can put things in it like your work schedule, what's due when. I mean I use almost all of that. I do not use my phone to put anything in. I manually use my cork board and my whiteboard which is behind me and then I have a planner that my mom gave me that I use. So staying on top of things will just make sure you don't turn anything in late because in my class now, in my summer class, I have something to do every single day at 8 p.m. on the dot. My cork board so I can scratch off whatever assignment I've completed and then I can write down my work schedule and 
what assignments are due or what assignments I'm going to work on. So it definitely helps. But stay on top of things. You won't fall behind and you'll do very, very well as long as you stay on top of things. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as usual, you guys, I'll see you guys next time in the next video. So see you guys later.